Hey guys, Dimitri here. In this video, we will learn how to get clean images out of noisy renders while also reducing the render times by quite a lot. For all of us messing around with 3D programs, rendering is something we love to hate. It's really exciting because we finally get to see the result of our work, but at the same time it can be such an infuriating experience since it can take forever to render. Especially if you're using the physically accurate reflectance based workflow in cinema. By the way, if you want to learn more about that, you can watch this video here. You already know all the unconventional ways to speed up your renders. Buy a faster machine, use render farms, switch to GPU rendering software, and so on and so forth. In this video, I would like to cover an unconventional way to speed things up. It's super easy to work with, and you'll be able to transform a render like this to this. In half the time it would take for a final high quality render to finish. So, let's get started. We need three things in order to make this work. Number one, noisy renders. Not just one, but multiple. Number two, Photoshop or any other software that supports image stacking. If you don't have that, you can still use any software that supports layers, but be prepared for a lot of manual work, which kinda defeats the purpose. And finally, number three, noise reduction software. This part is not necessary, but it will help keep the render times quite low. In the photography world, people have struggled with noisy images for quite a long time. There are cases where photographers have no other choice but to switch to high ISO and as a result introduce uh, noise to their images. Also, people who cannot afford really expensive gear like medium format uh, cameras will struggle with noisy images from time to time. So how do photographers solve this issue? They just take multiple pictures of the same subject and combine them all to get one final image free of noise or unwanted objects. This is a method very common in astrophotography and long exposure photography. As you can imagine, if it works for them, it will definitely work for our noisy renders as well. So, our plan goes like this. We will render a lot of noisy renders and then combine them all into one clean image. By combining a lot of images that have random noise, we can get a cleaner result than any of those noisy images can provide on its own. We will essentially average all of our noisy renders to get one cleaner result. If the images don't contain random noise, then we cannot use this method, so we cannot just use the same image multiple times. The good thing though is that cinema produces exactly the kind of noise we need. To render these images in cinema, we don't need to do anything special. We just render out an image sequence over still. You can render as many stills as you want. You should also try to use as minimum settings as possible. These images, for example, took 51 seconds each to render. I know it's hard to believe, but don't worry about how noisy they look. It's going to be fine in the end. Now we'll load up these images in Photoshop. First, I'm going to show you how this method works by doing it manually, and then we will do it the automatic way. So I'm going to use at first six images. I'm going to bring everything in one document by going to scripts, and then load files into stack. So now we have all of them stacked on top of each other. What we're going to use to get the noise-free result we want is a method called mean stacking. Each shot will have an opacity that is the result of the 100% opacity divided by whatever position the image is in the stack. So the first photo should be 100%, the second 100% divided by 2, which is 50%, the third 100% divided by 3, which gives us 33%, the fourth 25%, the fifth 20%. And finally the sixth, 17%. The image is still noisy, but you might have forgotten how noisy the original image was. As you can see, the difference is quite big. The beauty of this is that the more images we add, the cleaner the result will be. Of course, at some point, we might end up with a lot of smaller renders that took more time to render than one image with high quality settings. So try not to go super crazy with the amount of noisy renders. Usually, you can get clean results by combining few images and then using noise reduction on top. Now that we know how this works, let's see how we can automate it. We go again to File and then Scripts, but this time we will choose the Statistics option. This brings a similar dialog like before, but with one extra option above. We have several options to stack our pictures, but the one we're interested in is the mean method. The other noise reduction method that is also useful is the median one, 
but you would use that if you wanted to get rid of crowds in a landscape or urban shots. So we'll stick with mean. Let's load up now all the images we rendered, not just the six we had before. Make sure that the mean method is selected and disable the alignment option at the bottom. We don't really need that since our images are going to be exactly the same. We would use that if our shot was handheld. Now let's see what kind of final result we can get. Not too bad. Just to remind you, this was one of the noisy images we rendered, and this is the stacked result. Quite good, I would say. Depth of field shots are the ones that benefit the most with this method, since depth of field is quite intensive in rendering. Let's see how our method stacks up to high quality renders. This image uses high rendering settings, and it took 30 minutes and 32 seconds to render. And this stacked image took almost 13 minutes. That's more than two times speed up. We still have some noise left, but this is something we can easily get rid of with some noise reduction. Here I'm using Noiseless, which is a great noise reduction app with lots of options, but you can use other noise reduction tools like the free plugin Define from Google. And now after the adjustment, it's nearly impossible to see which render is which. So we managed to reduce the render time by half and with almost the same results. You can be more aggressive if you're willing to use noise reduction and get your final image even faster. For example, this is a render that took less than 7 minutes to render. That's more than 3 times speed up compared to a 30 minute render. Let's see some more examples. This image here is a 6 image stack that took 36 minutes to render. And this one here is a high settings image that took 65 minutes to render. That's quite a speed up. Notice here some differences in the image. The high quality image has some nicer brighter spots, but I would say this is something you can bring up easily in post or just adjust the rough noise settings a little bit more. Here I was using really low numbers. Finally, this is a 12 image stack that took 9 minutes to render, and this is a high settings render that took 20 minutes to render. The stacked image is a little bit noisier, but we can either add some more stacks and still get lower render times, or just apply some noise reduction to it and have the images look almost the same. Another benefit with this method is that your machine is not occupied for several hours, essentially interrupting your work. You can just fire up a few renders to uh, get a good enough result to show it to your client, and then whenever you have the time, add a few more noisy renders to the mix. So when should you use this method? This is mainly for stills. Uh, for video, we can still use noise reduction software. Uh, for example, neat video can produce some amazing results. With stills, we're a little bit more flexible, so we can use a combination of image stacking and noise reduction. So if you're short on time and cannot afford to do long renders, just fire up a few noisy renders and then combine them all to get one clean result. I would also highly suggest this method if you want to see how your uh, final image will look like without having to wait for a render to finish. This method is also great for really cheap renders in render farms. If you combine it with Google Sync service, you can get some insanely cheap prices. For example, uh, if, you, if your noisy render takes uh, one minute to complete, you can get 60 images in one hour and pay the minimum price, which is a little bit over a dollar. With 60 of those images, chances are you will get some really clean results in the end. And that's about it for this video. I will leave you guys so you can just go straight to cinema and test this method out. I'm sure some of you are skeptical, but I can assure you this method does really work. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, happy rendering!